Darnell, how did you think today went for you? Uh, I felt like it went well. Uh, felt good. Played good, I guess. So just got to wait and see now. What meetings did you have with the teams today? Can you tell us who you talked to? Today? Uh, I mean, mo majority of the teams was in there, and they just kind of went over like their thoughts about pro day and doing drills and why you shouldn't do drills and things like that. So it was quite a few teams in there. What were you hoping to show today, your last statement kind of before the draft? Uh, I mean, I did lots of catching the ball, so hope, hopefully I showed good ball skills today. Given, given what you guys have been through, all the video available when you're in pads, how is, but how is this different in a sense today? Uh, you said like when we're in pads? Well, no, you, you've done so much in pads and, and all the TV videos available to these scouts and everybody else. In some ways, when you're preparing for this, is, is the nerve level a little different and so on? No, I felt like with this, it's easy. Uh, I mean, some of the drills we just, I just did today, I was doing it here at Georgia. So I feel like that's the easy part. Just showcasing your skills is the easy part. We've been playing ball our whole life, so it's the easy part. Darnell, what is some of the feedback you're getting from the team? Uh, <laughs> I feel like most teams, uh, majority of the teams, just like you're a hell of a ball player. You keep it the hard work and don't stop now. So that's all they pretty could say. And yeah. So, yeah, what are some of the things you want to get better at in this process? Uh, with this process, uh, I just want to quicken up my feet when it comes to the first step. Uh, even though today we didn't really do bag drills. Uh, but, I mean, I, that's something I'm still working on uh, in the dark. So it'll show sooner or later at the next level. Darnell, what's this whole entire process been for you? Uh, it's been fun. Uh, it's, it's just something I soak in and I cherish these moments. And, to kind of be where my feet is, and if that's in the interview, that's in the interview, that's working out, that's working out. So I'm just for sure soaking it all in. Has Don't your know. agent given you any indication of a range of where you could expect to maybe go? No, ma'am. Have you had conversations with teams? Do you have a feel of a range of where you might go? No, ma'am. It's all good talk, so it's kind of hard to say. You say you had fun, but is this, is this tiring at all mentally, physically, just the whole process? Not for me, no. It's something I'm used to, so, yeah. I think like Stetson did uh, in the throwing drills. Uh, he threw great. I mean, from what I saw, uh, he looked good. I mean, it's kind of hard to, uh, I mean, he trained elsewhere, so I didn't really see him throwing in a while. And then when I started seeing him throw, I was like, I didn't really realize how good he throws because, I mean, I'm in on the play and I'm running my own route. So I don't really get to see how he throws. I just turn around and be like, oh, lag at the ball. But, so things like that. So he looked good today. What did you make of the, the measurement? We, we've always talked to you six, seven and a half. We mm. saw the picture. You standing next to the six, seven guy. They, did mm. they just get that one wrong then? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> they got my height wrong. and uh, But we corrected it today. So, oh. yeah. What did what you measure today? Six, seven. What did you weigh? 272. When you, you know, when you look at uh, some of the other tight ends in this draft, what, what separates you? Uh, I mean, just looking at it, just a size difference. Uh, and I guess just a want to of blocking. Uh, I feel like I got the want to and uh, I got the willpower. So I feel like that's what separates me from a lot of uh, tight ends in this draft class. You kind of just answered it, but why should an NFL team draft you? Why should? Uh, I feel like just a want to, kind of kind of how you just said, I kind of answered it. Uh, but I feel like I'm a good, complete, all around tight end. I feel like, I mean, hopefully, my that's kind of one of my goals is coming into a team and making an impact. If that's Whatever it may be, if that's one game, if that's helping other teammates out, I just want to be an impact my uh, first year to be a sponge. Do you have a poster or anything of your catch in, in Indianapolis? A poster? Yeah, no, nah, no, sir. It went kind of viral. Is that fun to see that? <laughs> uh, it was cool, but I mean, I didn't get my feet down, but I mean, it's that fine. Uh, but yeah, no poster. Darnell, where does the, the, the humble come from? For a guy your size, your talent, you really humble guy, the whole role player thing last year. Where did that, where did that come from? Uh, I feel like it's just how you grew up. So me, I, I've been through a lot. Probably been through more stuff than almost uh, almost every guy in the draft. Or I mean, I really don't know their story, but my story was kind of tough growing up. So I mean, I'm just a humble person. That's just me. What's your conversations been like with the teams? Have there been anything they've asked you anything different, make you do anything? Last year, the Eagles had them shooting hoops. Anything that, that stood out to you this year? Uh, for me, no, not really. Uh, I feel like my thing is just. My biggest question is just like family, because I mean, I got two daughters, so I feel like that's just kind of been my biggest question, uh, what, what kind of learner I am and things like that. I feel like my question is pretty much easy to answer, and I mean, I don't really do much myself outside of football, so um, no really tough questions, no 
any difficulty in that area. And what's next for you leading up to the draft? Huh? What's next for you leading up to the draft, workout wise and that kind of stuff? Uh, I mean, my visits and things like that, meeting with teams. Other than that, uh, I plan on heading home to Vegas and just train and draft party out there and just go from there.